everybody welcome back so I want to share with you guys a quick thrift haul a Goodwill haul I really got some great items the other day um, where my kids take Taekwondo just right up the street a little bit there's a Goodwill there and they have some great stuff a lot of what I kind of focus on when I'm going thrifting is things for my home I like to change up some of my items uh, move this around move that around with the holiday season coming up there's so much more decorating I'm going to do for Christmas. I go all out for Christmas. I don't do a lot for fall. Um, I do very little for Thanksgiving. Normally, we're not at home. We do a lot of going around to different places for Thanksgiving. But for Christmas, I go all out in my decorating. So I was out the other day and came upon a few nice items. And I just wanted to show you a couple of the things that I was able to get. So it's not a big haul, but there are some great items here. The first thing I was able to get was this Stanley thermos and why do you need a thermos and right now I'm on a coffee fast so why do you need a thermos lady well my children when they go to the sitters if I wanted to give them a warm drink I mean a warm soup or some leftovers that I cooked that needed to be warm um, this would work out nicely and it's heavy this is a heavy thermos great cup and then you just pull the top off of this, put your contents in it, and this will keep it warm all day. And this is big enough for probably three or four servings of something. It's a little bigger than what I would normally just give them for each person. But I could probably, or if we're going to a picnic or something, I could put a soup in here, and this would stay warm. So this cost me, or if I go back to coffee, this right here would be clutch in the coffee this was 249 it's so heavy y'all I can't even imagine what it costs um, just by itself I guess I couldn't go online and look it up but it was 249 so that's a great deal for us the next thing this is amazing I got this set of candlesticks and these candlesticks are from home goods let me show you the tag it's still on it it's from home goods and they are $14.99 a piece. I got these at my Goodwill for $1.99 a piece. So for $4, I got a pair of $30 candlesticks. And this color does not work in my color scheme. So I am going to spray paint these either a metallic silver or a metallic gold. I haven't decided. I have a lot of silver in my house. And most of my Christmas decor is going to be silver, white, black, and red, and a little bit of turquoise. So I do want to keep colors that I can use all year long. So I think I'm going to spray these of metallic silver. So it's kind of going to be shiny, just like the top of this thermos. But these are probably a foot and a half, maybe. See how it would stand on a regular coffee table? It's pretty tall. And then I put my candle up here, and I have two of these. So I'm going to do a tablescape probably on my buffet in my living room. So I love these. But for $1.99, I just could not, for home goods, I couldn't leave that on the shelf at all. This next item, y'all, this is so pretty. And I've seen these um, on different channels with people putting like uh, balls or uh, pine cones or different things like that. And I thought, y'all, this, this is going to be great because what I'm going to do, I already know I'm spray painting this a metallic gold. And... It, it's a, a it's not wire but kind of more of the um it's not metal kind of more of a faux metal kind of a faux metal but this piece was $4.99 so once I clean this up real well and spray paint it that metallic gold it can be a centerpiece and I think I'm going to put Christmas balls on this and put it on the bar um, in our house for Christmas so I'm loving this piece right now the next thing I got was this basket and this is a really nice basket I think I'm probably gonna spray, spray paint this blue or maybe I'll leave it brown I'm not sure my kids bathroom is blue and brown and kind of cream and I'm gonna put this on the back of the toilet for extra rolls of toilet paper and then some personal feminine items for our guests if we have guests come over because the uh, kids bathroom is the guest bathroom so this was a dollar forty nine, and it's a really good. Um, it's pretty hardy, and it's not going to tear up. So this this was a good purchase. The next thing I got 
are these picture coasters or photo coasters. I am um, really into my kids and I love them a lot. So I am going to either put their faces in these coasters or, 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 <laughs> or I am going to um, remove the picture and cut it out just to size maybe a scripture. So I'm either going to put photos or scriptures in here. I just haven't decided which one yet. But they're a nice, thick, hardy coaster. Um, and it's glass. And they're all different colors in the in the background. But these have never been never been used at all. So I got those for $1.49. The next and the very last thing that I got. And I'm probably sure... It's not a mini Dutch oven, but to me, that's what it kind of reminds me of. Like the pot that you put your baked beans in, like the old style doing them. But I got these um, soup terrines and um, with the tops on them. So I was thinking when my kids come home for the holidays that we could do soup. So if we were going to do movie night, we could actually do these around the coffee table and they'd have their own little tops on them. And maybe I'd do a surprise for each kid. So I got these for $1.49 a piece, and I was able to get a set of four. So that's my haul today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got. And once I get everything situated in the house and spray painted up and decorated for the holidays, I'll come back and let you know what, I, what we did. So thank you for stopping by, and we'll see you soon. Bye.